A brand new piece of music has its world premiere this afternoon. You might remember that we heard last Sunday about how the village had commissioned composer Liz Johnson to write a piece for Lent. And she has written a requiem for Aleppo. This afternoon, the augmented choir of St James the Great, along with students from Colwell Primary School, John Maysfield High School and St Mary's RC High School, will give its debut performance at the church. Well, we went along to one of the final rehearsals to hear about how it all came about. Well, I'm Marion Paulson, and um, I'm one of the altos in St James's Church Choir. And, of course, for... Um, quite a lot of important occasions we involve other people and we have the augmented St James Church Choir. Uh, well, the Requiem came about um, because of an informal chat I was having with our conductor Peter, whose wife Liz is of course the, the wonderful composer, and um, we were trying to decide what we would do next Passion Tide, and I said it would be wonderful of course if, if Liz could write something for us, but we could never afford to commission her unfortunately. Um, and then a little while later, I, I, I got an email from Liz saying um, I, I would love to write something for us, which was amazing. <laughs> Well, we've been rehearsing the music for some time. Um, some of it is quite challenging, uh, um, doing things we've never done before, such as whispering loudly and uh, singing on any note. And amazingly, the, the effect is quite powerful. And most of it is actually very, very beautiful and some lovely melodies. And we're all stunned and thrilled that we've got the, the privilege of singing it. My name's Henry Pine and I sing tenor with the Coral Church Choir. I've been asked to come in to spe especially to do this event, so I'm very excited. I think it's very imaginative. Um, I think the phrasing and all the dynamics, I quite like the dissonant clashes that go on within this music. Um, I find it quite an inspiring piece. I quite like performing it and I'm really glad that she chose me to do the tenor solo. I think the idea of Coral doing this is very important. I think it's a very, very... Um, obviously it's a big issue, what's happening is absolutely awful and I think raising awareness of that and raising money for that more importantly is, is really vital. Um, and obviously the children obviously are at the heart of this particular piece of music and I think that makes it extra special um, and it's made it extra beautiful and I love performing it. So my name's Liz Johnson, I'm the composer of the Coal Requiem for Aleppo. Well, I'm planning to um, apply for more funding um, from various different things, including Arts Council England, to actually roll out the, the project to, um, first of all, it would be nice to do a performance at Hereford Cathedral. Uh, that would be my first aim, maybe in a year or so's time. And then um, the idea is that you could actually run the project so you're involving your young musicians. The young musicians here have been composing their own music as part of the Requiem. Uh, and your local children's choir and your local refugees uh, so that they all feel um, part of it, part of a, a whole community coming together. The composer Liz Johnson from Colwall in Herefordshire, where her Requiem for Aleppo will get its world premiere at St James the Great Church at four o'clock this afternoon. Admission is free, 4pm, put it in the diary if you fancy something quite calming. That sounds, doesn't it?